Hey guys, what I've got here today are um, a couple of pipes and a few markers. Uh, these pipes are going to represent blowguns. Blowguns are devices that use air pressure to launch darts. Um, well, I don't have darts, but these marker caps are going to serve as darts today, and my target will be this cardboard box over here. My question is, does the length of a blowgun matter? Does one launch a marker cap faster than the other? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the short blowgun, and I'm going to put the marker cap towards the back, and I'm going to try to give it as much force as I can um, from uh, my lungs and aiming this right at the cardboard box. Now the short blowgun is um, it's pretty hard to aim because it is so short, so if I don't get it the first time, I'll have to try it a second or third time. Here we go, the short blowgun. And that one hit the table first, so let's try it one more time. All right. So you can see that it was able to knock the cardboard box over on the second time, and it gave it a relatively small amount of force. Let's see if the long blowgun uh, gives it the same amount of force, um, more force or less, less force. And again, I'm going to load the marker towards the back of the, of the blowgun, trying to give it as much pressure as I can each time, but also the same amount as I gave the short blowgun. Here we go. As you can see, that box fell immediately uh, because it got uh, it received a much faster marker cap. So the long blowgun was able to deliver faster speed than the short blowgun. Uh, it's not because one got more force than the other, but because one got more impulse than the other. And we're going to talk about what impulse is later.